In 1939, Germany introduced a military strategy that would innovate on the battlefield. Adopted by the German forces out of economic necessity and fear of a two-front stalemate that Germany faced in World War I, this lightning war was quick and ruthlessly efficient. The Blitzkrieg was innovative in its technique, use of resources, and its ability to adapt on the battlefield. The impacts of this innovative tactic appear today in modern conflicts such as the Six-Day War of June 1967 and the Persian Gulf I of 1991. By making use of newly developed technologies like the tank, Blitzkrieg gave Germany the tactical edge it required to change the nature of World War II, allowing them to conquer mainland Europe while simultaneously reshaping the way of thinking surrounding military combat, laying the foundation for modern warfare as we know it today. The origins of the Blitzkrieg lie with the Schlieffen Plan, created in December of 1905. Named after Count Alfred von Schlieffen, Chief of the Imperial General German Staff, the overall strategy would address the problems of fighting a war on two different fronts. Schlieffen's plan boiled down to a rapid mobilization of troops to countries west of Germany, after which the Germans would send their army to the east to fight Russia. However, when attempting to execute this strategy in World War I, the Germans failed to force the quick surrender in France that they had desired. While the Germans were moderately successful at first, a counterattack on the part of the Allies catapulted the Germans back to the River Aisne in the First Battle of the Marne, where they were forced to remove the Schlieffen Plan from the table and build trenches so as to not lose more ground to Allied forces. This counterattack was primarily successful for the Allies because the Germans had no means of stopping the French from rapidly relocating their troops from the different fronts to thwart the German offensive. Fundamentally, the Germans simply lacked the technology to end the taxiing of troops or the agility to move quickly enough to make this taxiing useless, resulting in their downfall. For the next four years, neither side would gain any more than 100 miles of land while sacrificing troops and resources for little gain, with many dying to the poor sanitary conditions of the trench. Regardless, however, the plan certainly laid the groundwork for the Blitzkrieg, as the near success in France showed that it was possible and the inefficiency of the trenches showed that it was necessary. It was not, however, until 20 years later when the strategy of Schlieffen was refined and perfected by Heinz Guderian in 1937, who at the time was a general in the German army. He had served in World War I, witnessing the brutality of trench warfare firsthand, likely one of the reasons he was interested in pursuing alternative methods of warfare. The basic idea of the Blitzkrieg was to defeat the enemy as quickly as possible, making use of the elements of surprise, the rapid deployment of forces, and the controlling of the skies. The aircraft was one of the most essential aspects of engagement as it could be used to destroy key enemy positions while simultaneously creating fear and confusion amongst the enemy. Tanks were made the focal point on the battlefield, concentrating a large number of these vehicles against weak points of enemy resistance. These tanks would be used to break through the enemy lines and after successfully doing so would be able to roam behind the enemy, hitting exposed flanks leaving the enemy in terror. Highly mechanized infantry and artillery then followed up the initial assault, eliminating any remaining pockets of enemy resistance. In this way, by making extraordinary use of tactics and coordination between aircraft and ground forces, as well as tactically hitting the weakest point of enemy lines, the innovation of the Blitzkrieg allowed Germany to essentially conquer all of mainland Europe, avoiding the stalemate seen in World War I, and leading to a rethinking of military strategy. The invasion of Poland on September 1, 1939 was the first use of Blitzkrieg. However, the invasion of France was arguably the best implementation of the strategy by the Germans in World War II. With three distinct groups, A, B, and C, the German army was developed to be even more efficient in their invasion of France. Within 24 hours, we crossed three borders. We went from Germany to Luxembourg, from Luxembourg to Belgium, from Belgium to France. On May 10, 1940, the German invasion of France and the Low Countries began, and the face of Europe was forever changed. The initial German thrust at France in World War I had failed for three reasons. One, the German army was not able to move quickly enough with appropriate force. Two, it was impossible to the slow mobilization of Allied forces to the front lines. And three, their initial route through Belgium made it so the French were able to adequately prepare for a German invasion before the Germans arrived. The first problem was resolved primarily because of the Germans' newly bolstered Panzer Division, as well as motorized infantry divisions that allowed the Germans the swift strike they needed to overwhelm the French resistance and blaze around the Maginot Line, a position of heavy reinforcement the French were dependent on. 
over 2,000 German aircraft were deployed to decimate enemy supply lines and strategic enemy positions, as well as eliminating British Air Force before giving it the chance to fly into the air, resolving the second problem the Germans faced in a matter of days. Lastly, the German attack through the Ardennes, an area of hills and mountains, granted their divisions an enormous element of surprise and the push straight to France instead of going through Belgium. This left the French with no time to prepare, resolving the third and final problem. The French had more tanks and some better tanks, heavier tanks, than we have had, Panzers. But uh, we managed our um, Panzer troops what Gudeyan said in his instructions, strike hard and quickly, and don't disperse your forces. Less than two months later, on June 22nd, Germany and France had signed an armistice, and the new lightning-fast strategy of the Blitzkrieg proved effective once more. Unlike in World War I, where in four years only about a hundred miles of territory changed hands, the Germans were able to completely conquer the entire nation of France in only a few weeks. The impacts of this conquest as a result of the innovation of Blitzkrieg were far-reaching. Germany was able to further solidify its position in Europe while also creating a great fear in the global community who stood awestruck at how quickly France had been defeated in the light of the lengthy battles of World War I. Thus, war had become that of maneuverability and speed, surprising the enemy where they least expected it, which ensured the quickest victory. While the innovation of Blitzkrieg certainly had a number of short-term ramifications on World War II, it had long-term impacts which we still live with today. When change is introduced into military strategy, it becomes difficult for the face of tactics not to change drastically. Even though the Allies ended up winning World War II, they learned from and developed their own strategies as well as counter-strategies based on the innovation of Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg forever changed the tone of warfare from one of attrition to one of rapid speed and application of force. The most modern applications of these Blitzkrieg-like doctrines are the Six-Day War and the Gulf War. June 5, 1967, Israel commences a full-scale Blitzkrieg on the countries of Egypt, Jordan, and Syria. Israel first began their invasion of Egypt with a rapid airstrike on Egyptian airfields. The Egyptian Air Force was perhaps the strongest component of Egyptian military strength, but in a matter of hours, Israel was able to massacre most of the Air Force before it had even left the ground. With the Egyptian Air Force almost entirely neutralized, Israel's tanks and motorized infantry divisions were able to rapidly advance into the territories, allowing them to take out strategic positions like the Sinai Peninsula and the Gaza Strip. Rapidly encircling and outflanking enemy positions, the Israeli lightning war continued. By the end of the conflict, Israel had captured Jerusalem in the West Bank from Jordan and Golan Heights from Syria. In a matter of less than a week, on June 10, 1967, Israel had increased the size of its territory by a factor of three. The successful modern implementation of the Blitzkrieg is demonstrative of the overall impact this change in military strategy has had on our own modern society. In Operation Desert Storm of 1990, the coalition forces conducted a responsive Blitzkrieg-style attack against Iraq who had invaded Kuwait. The Blitzkrieg began on January 17, 1991, when the coalition operation commenced a series of airstrikes labeled Operation Desert Shield. These airstrikes were primarily focused on destroying the anti-aircraft network of Iraq as well as enemy radar stations, which allowed for them to ensure air supremacy. Following the initial airstrikes, on February 24th, the coalition ground forces and advanced mechanized infantry divisions proceeded to liberate Kuwait and advance into Iraq using Blitzkrieg tactics and Operation Desert Sabre. Short of nuclear war, the innovative tactics of Blitzkrieg have become the quickest way of securing victory. The innovation of Blitzkrieg by Heinz Guderian immediately impacted the world with Germany's effective takeover of Europe during World War II. The tactics which were established within the doctrine of the Blitzkrieg have been incorporated into many modern conflicts, making the tank the primary weapon on the battlefield and requiring a coordination of the different military branches to work together to create the best results. No longer is war based on attrition, but instead is centered on maneuverability and speed. Countries now use the elements of surprise, speed, and power to induce an enemy's capitulation before they are prepared to fight. Because the German army was able to successfully incorporate the strategic advantage of Blitzkrieg into its military plans, modern armies have followed suit, leaving a mark in the history books and on battlefields of war as an innovation of military strategy.